decided to do it. And so when we get there, just by total chance, he was going into the studio the next week to cut, so that's why we were down there trying to write some stuff with him. And my publisher had pitched him this, this other song, and um, he came up to me, like as soon as we got to the island, he goes, hey man, I just heard this song of yours, and I love it. I'm gonna cut it next week, and uh, my producer loves it. And I was like, God, this is so, so easy. This is, we don't even have to write anything now. But we ended up writing a song, and luckily he cut that song, and on, on the same day he cut the song we wrote, he cut this other song of mine. And it sounded great, he sounded incredible on it, and I was really excited, and he was talking about having some big star come sing on it, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be amazing. And about three weeks later, he called me and said, hey man, you know that song of yours I cut? I, I just don't think it fits this record, so I'm not gonna put it on there. And I was like, oh, I mean, I understand, I understand, you know, that's, that's how the business is. Um, but he said, if it's still around, I mean, I'd like to put it on the next record, I just don't think it fits this record. And I said, yeah, I mean, in my mind, I thought it'll still be around because once somebody cuts it, you know, nobody else is gonna cut it. Well, just by total luck for me, Blake Shelton cut this song. So you guys know Blake Shelton? Woo! I saw somebody with a Miranda hat, so I'm sorry. But Blake cut this song. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, but Blake recorded this song, and uh, two days before his album came out, I'm sitting at my house uh, watching TV, which is what I do when I'm at home. And um, my phone buzzes, and it's Chesney. And he was like, hey, man, is that Sangria song still available? I, I want to put it on the next record. <laughs> and I said, uh, I sat there for like a half hour. I, I, like, I <laughs> talked to my wife. I was like, how do I respond to this? Because I want him to record every other song I've ever written, but he can't have this one. So I waited about a half hour, and I finally texted him back. I said, man, you know, I appreciate you asking, but Blake cut it. He's coming out on the record in two days. And, um, he was like, well, it's a great song. I hope it's a single, go to hell, something like that. <laughs> no, he was really cool about it. But anyway, Blake cut it, and uh, this went on to be a number one hit. So it ends well for me, which I know you guys were concerned, but it turned out well for me. <laughs> this is Sing Graham. Woo!
Thank you, friends and neighbors. I appreciate it. Woo! I just